We were taking a sniper fire. We couldn't figure. We didn't know where it was coming from. So I mean, I was like popping smoke cans off the Bradleys, and uh, I'd I'd laid down some suppression fire before that because I didn't. We had no clue where it was coming from. And the CO and the XO had mounted up in their vehicles to come come help us out. The XO or the CO got hit by a deep layered ID and blew his track off. So then Shape Red to turn around and go back to him and check him out, make sure everything was okay. So we had two vehicles down at, at the same time. He was in the back of the vehicle. Once they got pulled up there and they had spun around, uh, they dropped the ran. He was already sitting there. We grabbed our weapons, hopped out and jumped in his track. And uh, he was checking us out, you know, making sure. He's like, you guys okay? Yeah, we're, we're fine. So he, 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 was, he was just glad that we were all right. So it's like they say, you never leave your buddy behind. You know, you always want to be there with them, help them out, do what you got to do to get them out. If they get hurt, you know, you get them up and get them out of the fight so you can get them fixed. I knew that he would, he would be coming. I knew somebody was coming, so. And, and he, he's not, a, he's not a, the type of person to hesitate. But I knew if something happened, I, I, he would at least be, you know, pulling security on me, cover me if I had to move to him, so. Uh, once I saw the vehicle come around the corner, though, I immediately, a lot of pressure came, was off my chest, so. It's, it's a good thing to see when you have a Bradley coming toward you, you know, you know, knowing that it's coming to help you out, so.